So here's one of the things I do in China. I dance once in a while in this big room inside the gym. I don't really do the gym, I mean like treadmill and all, but I do swim and yeah. Welcome to my daily life in Hefei. Shopping, food district, and a lot of things together. And this part of the town is called Bu Xingjie. At first, I'm going to play as usual. Like I said, I'm going to the arcade game center. It's similar to how it's in Indonesia, but yeah, it's in China. Perfect. And when you're in China, one thing you can leave without is this Xiao Long Bao. This is uh, one of the most famous Xiao Long Bao in Hefei, located at the Bu Xingjie. Plus, I am going to eat the tofu now. It's like tofu, but with lots of ingredients together, and it's salty and spicy at the same time. And this is where I ate the tofu now. It's in Leichun, one of the places I love to eat in Hefei. And so I just went back home from the treatment and my nose is still a little bit red because you know facial as usual so I'm here to confirm that it's okay for you to do treatments such as facial in China. Next! Here's a normal breakfast and lunch from China. Mocking coffee, the racing coffee and a muffin and the package and there's literally no one else than me eating it's all the workers it's like empty so i slept at 12 like 1 a.m and i woke up at 4 a.m which is why now at 6 a.m i'm already at the canteen school canteen which is near my dorm like 
literally next to it so I'm using this too because I just wash my hair waited until 6.30 to finally eat my favorite breakfast and this is one of the juice I like I don't like fruits but I like juices with no fruit pulp and the other one that I like the kiwi fruit juice and so last but not least, I love chocolate. It's written chocolate milk, but it's actually chocolate, hot chocolate. Chocolate. Hello guys, it's early in the morning. You can see it in my face that it's early and I'm not fully awake yet, but I'm at the Tianahu Tajut, yeah? the Swan Lake International Hotel. And I'm here for an award for winning a competition and uh, this is the hotel that you would at least go once in your life if you go to Hefei because it has the shuttle bus to the airport and it's international so it accepts uh, foreign foreign people like not all the hotels in China accept you if you want to pay and live there and this is like the itinerary for today and I'm here third prize this is the nominees and currently it's still empty here <laughs> one night before and of course ate here so here's the lunch after the competition I mean like award like in this hotel so great so I feel like when you're in Hawaii and you have to go back to your own country for example, Indonesia, my own country, uh, you will have to go to Guangzhou or Shenzhen or Xiamen or where, wherever that is for transfer. And now I'm going to Guangzhou. So now I'm waiting for the hotel since I'm going to Indonesia tomorrow morning and not today. The bus going to the hotel. I'm staying at in Guangzhou for one night before going to Indonesia from Hefei. And I'm not at the hotel. It's quite nice. I chose it myself, as you know. So this is my hotel in China. I'm in like. It's kind of too much for just a day in Guangzhou. But who doesn't like a good accommodation? And yeah. And don't worry, you can turn this rolling curtain switch. If you don't want someone else to see you take a bath, but actually I'm alone so it doesn't matter. So I heard that there is a swimming pool, although it's stated outdoor, it's like this and I'm so regretting that I left my swimming swimming suit. And yeah. Well, and you, as usual in China, you can get to print your photo for free. Like, you see, I got my picture just for free by scanning this with your WeChat and do what they say here. Forgot to tell you that in Guangzhou Airport, there's always a child playground thing in the boarding gate. So if you have a child, you can just check in earlier and let them play there and they'll be happy. I'm now boarding to Indonesia. Goodbye. And so finally arriving in Soekarno Hatta Airport, uh, Jakarta, Terminal 3. See you on the next vlog.
Thank you. Now I'm already back in Indonesia. <laughs> 